I'm Lewis Gordon. I'm a professor of philosophy at the University of Connecticut, where I'm also an affiliate in Asian and Asian American studies, in Caribbean and Latin American studies, and I'm also a professor of Jewish studies. I'm also honorary professor at the in the humanities at the university currently known as Rhodes in South Africa. What I want to talk to you about is um, an experience that led to my decision to go and get my doctorate in philosophy. And it's connected to an experience when I was a high school teacher in New York City. When I was a high school in New York, teacher in New York City, the principal came to me one day and said, I need to talk to you about your attendance rate. And I said, my attendance rate? He said, the rate of your, you know, your students coming to class. And I said, well, I do my best. He said, no, 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 you don't understand. An excellent New York City high school teacher, about 60% of the students will come to class. You have 98%. We want to see about you getting a special program. And when people say you're going to get a special program, you're thinking, oh my goodness, what's, what's, going, to, what's going to happen from this? He said, I would like you to put together a program for students nobody want to teach, students who don't come to school. If it's a successful program, 10% of them will get through it and get their high school diploma. Anyway, to make a long story short, we created a program called the Second Chance Program, and we ended up having 85% of the students successfully completing their high school diploma. Now, when you get figures like that, people are shocked, and they want you to do a study. So we went around doing a study, and as we were going through all of the techniques, the, the, this, that, that we did, something struck me. What struck me was, the one, the major reason this program worked was something that you could not put in a social scientific study in a way that appeared social scientific. And as I struggled with this, it led to the question that led to me going subsequently to graduate school where I looked, I did my degree in philosophy, and it has really affected the work I've done throughout my entire career. And that question was very straightforward. The reason ultimately the program worked was because we respected the humanity of the students. That may sound banal at first, but every one of us know this. When you treat a human being with respect, as a hu you know, when you treat a human being in a way that values her or his humanity, that human being grows. When you treat a human being disrespectfully, the human being withers. So the question I was curious about was this. If you were to ask the disrespected human being and the respected human being, are you a human being? Both would answer yes. So the question is this, if you know you're a human being, why does it matter so much to be treated as such? And that led to the question of human potential. And that is one of the things that I look through in a lot of my work. Now, some of you at this point are curious what, what exactly we did in that program. Well, these are short videos, but I'll just say very quickly, the way we set up that program was to make sure that we never did anything without the students asking why and encouraging them to do so. We started with an empty room in which we had a conversation on what is a school, and you, you'll be surprised about how many people have never had the conversation on what a school is. And when they learn that a school is supposed to be a place in which there is leisure time to develop your potential as a human being, they began to think through whether in an empty room their potential could be realized. So they began to talk about how to paint the walls, the furniture. We began to discuss the curriculum. Everything we did in that school, they were an active participant in building it. And they began to realize why they should study math why they should study, they, they should do things in the arts, the physical arts, such as, you know, whether it's gymnastics, whatever it may be. They began to think about philosophical ideas. They began to think about history. It's very important for you to ask the question why. And if you understand that your answer, if you understand why you're doing things, then you're doing things as an expression also of your freedom. And that will help realize your humanity and your potential. Thank you.